I feel the spirit. You ever heard that? You heard people say, I feel the spirit at this or that church, and I went to so-and-so's church and I didn't feel the spirit. Pastor told us that he feels the spirit in this place today. I've heard it a lot. I've said it a lot. The problem is the criteria we use to judge it. See, we've built this criteria that tells us uh, whether or not the Spirit is active or present in a particular place. When we say, I feel the Spirit, what we're really saying is, I feel this criteria present here. And the criteria we tend to choose isn't biblical. When we make judgments about where the Holy Spirit is and where the Holy Spirit isn't, we tend to make those judgments based on our feelings. And our feelings aren't always the best way to judge it. Well, I felt the change in the atmosphere. That's obviously not very specific, right? So, so what was it about the atmosphere that changed? And almost always it comes down to this. I know the Spirit is present because I was in a heightened emotional state. I was filled with joy or excitement or, or, or weeping. I know the Spirit was present because I felt chills or goosebumps. I know the Spirit was present because the worship was demonstrative. People stood, people bowed, people kneeled, people shouted. But there are some problems with this criteria. The first problem is this. Those criteria are culturally biased. Some cultures around the world are, are far more likely to be demonstrative in their worship, for example, or far more likely to openly weep or rejoice, while other cultures are far more reserved, far less likely to do those things openly. If we say that that's the sign of the Spirit being present, what we're saying is the Spirit prefers one culture over another, and he doesn't. 